Hey everybody, thank you for checking out this review video today. We will be joined by the best wife in the entire world, Sam C, my wife, where she'll give her female perspective on the scent profiles and just a little bit of entertainment with our silly interactions back and forth. And we will be covering the company known as Aztec Beard Company. Now I'm excited about this one because the owner is a great guy, they have some awesome products, and the historical references that are in this company, super cool, being a history teacher, I love that stuff. But I'm gonna tell you about the company, about the prices, the scent profiles, the feel and beard, and if I recommend them to you guys or not, stick around if that interests you, and again, thank you guys for all the support on the channel. A little bit of information about the Aztec Beard Company. Well, they are out of Dallas, Texas, I believe Oak Cliff, Dallas to be specific, and their owner goes by the name of Jesus, and he is just an infectious guy. When you see him on video, when you get the chance to talk to him, he just has such a warm, big, welcoming personality that you wanna be around him. And he is a true American entrepreneur. He, His family, when he was a young boy, migrated from Mexico and he knew that he wanted to create something special. He's gone through different fragrance companies, had a beard company, beard product company, not a beard company, beard product company, has rebranded and has finally settled on Aztec Beard Company. Now he says even though the Aztecs did not really rock beards, they really cared for their skin, they really cared for their health and all of those kind of ideas that have fallen into this and I love it. I think it's unique, I think it makes a splash, makes them stand out and is a great great different kind of angle to have for a company. Price. I like to rate every company based on a one, two, or three dollar sign price rating compared to what I consider the market average. Aztec Beard Co. is at the top end of a two dollar sign price rating. They are flirting with three dollars, but I will still firmly put them at the upper half of that two dollar sign price rating. They have two different blends. Let me make sure I find the, the right ones here. They have two different blends at two different price points. First up, you have the premium blend, which is your kind of more traditional orange brown, golden, not brown, golden looking oil. This is gonna go for $18.99 on the website. And then, oh, did I grab two of the same ones? That's why you gotta check. That's why you gotta keep me in line, guys. All right, here we go. Oh no, I was right. Come on, come on. And then the second line is a 50% premium blend and a 50% ostrich oil blend. So if you check here, you can see a little bit of a color difference, but we still have half of the bottle with that premium blend. And this is $1 more for $19.99. Now that's right where I like to set that limit, $20 kind of be in the $3 price rating, but they do have discount codes. My discount code is DANC10. It's not an affiliate, no commission on sales, no kickbacks or anything like that. Just a little bit of savings for you guys. So it is on the pricier side, but we will talk about in this video if the sense, if the feel, if just everything with this company is worth it for you to consider paying the $18.99, $19.99, but take 10% off. Okay, we are finally ready. Mic is checked. Camera set up position wise, got the products, got the beautiful wife. Mm -hmm. Samsey, how you doing? <laughs> Good. Good. Today, we will be featuring what's on the hat here, and that is Aztec Beard Company. Aztec Beard Company. So, what do you know about the Aztecs? Mexico? Yep, yep, yep. Big part okay. of uh, Mexico. Uh, they are the Native Americans. They have a rich history, uh, crazy stories of warfare, really unique foods. There's a lot in our culture today that carries over. <laughs> I love teaching about the Aztecs. So, we're going to take a look at these oils today and their scents to see what you think. So, first off, you got the labels here. One thing I love is it has the ingredients and the scent profile nice. right on the label. That's always a huge, huge touch for me. So, the first one that we're going to go over is Strawberry Way. Strawberry Way. So, I'll twist Strawberry it open there. Way. Yep, strawberry way. So I'll give you a smell, you give your impressions, thoughts, and then I'll read the scent profile mm. and go from there. Ooh. Mm. It's almost like a strawberry cologne. Okay. That's kind of, or like a strawberry, is it strawberry leather? All right, let's see here. So this is vanilla, strawberry, fruity notes, 
incense, leather, oh, cedar wood, and amber. Can't get leather past me. Yeah, there's definitely leather in there. There's definitely layers and complexity. Yeah. I would have never thought you could have made a strawberry scent complex. Right. You know? That would be a good Valentine's Day okay. scent. Okay. You like that one? Like. <laughs> All right, so one more here. What's it smell like to you? And it's not, when you said strawberry, immediately I went artificial, strawberry, right. too sweet, like, but I really, really enjoy it. It's yep. like on the border of like not sweet. Yeah. It's like. It's subtle. It's like strawberry scent, not like strawberry syrup. Ooh, that's a good way to put yeah. it. Yeah. Like what they actually smell like. Right, yeah. right, right. So no, I enjoy this one a lot. Um, it's one that, yeah, I could wear quite often. So it's not super bright, not super um, abrasive. It's yeah. a pretty good one. All right, next one up we have tequila wood. Tequila wood. All right, tequila wood do what? <laughs> wood. Tequila wood get you oh, in trouble. Woo. Hey. Whew. Tequila wood makes Sam C say that. Whew. That's some strong tequila. Yeah. That mm, smells like tequila. Don't like it. <laughs> Sm smells like too strong tequila, though. Like, I don't know. Yeah, so it's tequila, lime, and then, I don't know how to pronounce this one, guliac, <laughs> mm. wood, and cedar wood. Yeah, it's very, very burn your nostrils and very, as Dan likes to say, if you took wood and ripped it apart. Yeah. Yeah, it mixes those two things together. I don't like it. Yeah, I'm not a big fan either. I didn't, when I, I wore this on like an off day, I wasn't teaching or anything, because I do think it smells like tequila. Like I do mm -hmm. think people could think your breath smells like oh tequila. Oh my gosh. Uh, I get pulled over. Officer, I swear it's it, the beard. Smell my beard. Yeah, I smell my beard. <laughs> so I didn't spill tequila. So, but I did enjoy it more than I thought I would. Uh, it's not as bad as like a bourbon or whiskey scent, which I don't enjoy. I know a lot of you do, but I do not. Um, it, it is... Yeah, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. If you're going to like that scent, you're going to probably like that one. You guys probably know that's not for us, uh, but it smells like tequila. Yeah. Yep. All right. But we love tequila. Like, don't get us wrong. Right. What? Probably your drink of choice. Oh, 100%. Yeah, her drink of choice there. All right. Next one up is Classico. Classico. So let's see what you got here on Classico. I always feel like I need to read them just in case you pronounce them wrong. Oh, that's a good <laughs> rule to have. I, I That's like with everything in life. I, endorse, I always got to check you. I endorse that fully. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Is right. it a barbershop? We'll see. You give your, your impression, then we go from there. Like a soft... I think it's a barbershop. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and I do have some information for you. Okay. This is a citrus bay rum... Amber Oud and Cologne. So Bay Rum. We had the last video and everyone's like, what is Bay Rum? Well, I did some research on my own. People were kind of helpful in the comments, but not really. <laughs> bay Rum came from Bay Leaves. Sailors used to be out sailing for months and they wouldn't take baths, they wouldn't take showers, so they stank. And they figured out that if they would rub actual bay leaves on their armpit and on their body mm -hmm. where they smelled, it was like a natural deodorant that okay. helped them. And then from there, they figured out, oh, wow, we can extract oil out of these leaves and we can create things like aftershave and cologne. Okay. So that is why we kind of associate Bay, bay Rum with Barbershop because of that aftershave. And I think Who we put the rum word in there, though. Uh, I don't know. It's not, it doesn't go, stop using it. Right. That's, and that is a, that, all right, next level of research, <laughs> right? We got bay leaves, we get bay. Mm -hmm. Where does the rum come involved? Right. It's got to be with the aftershave somehow. So specifically answer that one, because a couple of you gave us like roundabout answers. Specifically answer that one. <laughs> so yeah, this is essentially a barbershop. Yeah, so. I like it. Me too. It's really nice. Yep, it's fresh. Mm -hmm. um, it does remind me of like an older gentleman. I could see yeah. like a, a well put together, kind of like fashionable grandpa wearing it. Yeah, it's... Which um, sounds bad, but it's really nice. It's stronger, like more than your average... Yeah, barbershop. and it's because of the like cologne, right? Like it, that it does it does smell more like an aftershave. Yeah, it really does. So like a dapper uh, gentleman would wear that one. Yeah. All right. Next one is Mystico. Sure. Mystico. Mystico. Yes. Okay. Let's see what you got here. All right. Or is it mystical? No, there's no L. Mystico. Okay. All right. Okay. 
All right, what do you got here? Hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Tobacco? Okay. Smoke? So this is Amber, tobacco and cedarwood from Texas. <laughs> is that what it says? It says cedarwood, Texas. Oh, cedarwood, Texas. Not cedarwood from Texas. I'm putting the from in there. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. But that's where it comes from. There's like Carolina cedarwood, Texas cedarwood, oh. Virginia cedarwood's like the most common one. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and they do smell different. Yeah. So to me, it smells like a smoky like tobacco. Yeah. I am also not a fan of this one, but I do know a lot of you will go crazy for this. So yep, it's very manly. Very, very <laughs> manly. All right, next up, we have two more here, and this one is... Yeah, okay. Smell your skin. And that does work, by the way. It does. Okay, help me out here. Hmm. One of my weak points of teaching the Aztecs is pronouncing their their names. I'm going for a chocolate. Acolato. Acolato. the X doesn't get pronounced. I know. I like. Acolato. All right, here, let me X show you guys. Chocolate, right? All right, let me show you guys. And don't even break down the phonetically correct stuff because I can't even, I don't even know how to read those things. You know, when they like put things <laughs> yeah. in parentheses and I'm like, that doesn't help. And there's like a thing over the Yeah, head. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, I don't know what that yeah, means. Yeah, I don't know that rule, sorry. History, not language arts. We were right. Ooh. Ooh. It might just be because I'm really hungry. <laughs> she said that I'm right before dying, filming. Guys. <laughs> Oh, it smells like chocolate frosting. Okay. Oh, like the kind that you get out of the tub. Mm -hmm. Oh, like fudgy chocolate frosting. Yeah, but I get more like cacao or cocoa beans rather than that. So this That's is Mexican, the fudginess. Mexican vanilla, cocoa, vetiver, cologne. Oh, it's now I need cake. Yeah. That's good. So <laughs> That's her, yummy. I think your hunger's taking you more it sweet is. here. <laughs> Go think of like the like bitterness, the kind of savoriness no. of like it's, your skip frosting. It's fudgy, yeah. chocolatey frosting. I do like this one. It is not an everyday wear for me, but I would not if someone was like, Hey Dan, you're gonna wear this today? I'd be like, All right, cool. Sounds good. <laughs> so it's not bad. Not bad. What do you think? I like it. Okay. I don't know if I would like it in the beard club. Beard oil. Right. Just you like I'm the smell in general. <laughs> what? Uh, next one, I believe, was a limited edition. I just checked the website before filming and it was not available, but maybe it comes around. They included it and I like it. So we want to be able to cover <laughs> here and it's got this like special edition uh, label on there. And this is Zaragoza. Zaragoza. So give this one I a like smell. That. I know. It Artwork. looks really nice. Really nice. Right, what do you got here? I don't know if this was a Cinco de Mayo scent or because it kind of has that artwork on there. I don't know what I'm smelling. Oh, there's a I lot. I like it. There's a lot to I like it too. I was like, I got to include it. Oh, I don't know. Mm, all right, you ready? It's like fresh, uplift, uplifting. Yeah, it is. It's it's a me scent. Yeah. Tequila, citrus, floral, citrus. bay leaf, suede, smoke, oak moss, and amber. Wow. Yeah. And it's not because oh, normally man. when it's like all those things, but you can't really smell those things, yeah. I consider it a cologne, but right. I don't think that's a cologne. It's like a fresh, <sighs> yeah, it's sunny, bright. So fresh. Yeah. So bright. But not, it's not like a sweet sort I of citrus. Gonna say that. It's not like an in your face citrus. Because mm -hmm. I was almost like, is there citrus? I don't know. It's not limey. Right. It's not orangey. Hey. I was about to say all of those things. I felt like I was just like, uh, ah, hi, yup, yup, oh, hey, okay, tell them, tell them. No, I, yes, at all of what you just said, I'm 100% on that one. I hate to say it, but I think this is my favorite from I that. I like that. Yeah, so, this might need to come back. That, I like that one, and I like the strawberry. I, strawberry yeah. is my next favorite as well. Strawberry Which way. I never thought that I would say. Oh, it's so unique. There's it nothing is. out there like that at all. I nothing. Love that and they, and I'll talk about it in the video, but they have two different blends as well. This is their premium blend, mm. uh, and then their ostrich oil blend that they have. So, yes, really, really good. The other ones, hopefully, we described them accurately for you guys, so you can figure out your personal preference. If you're looking for our recommendation that's available right now, Strawberry Way mm -hmm. to go <laughs> is the way. To Mm -hmm. I, I, I try, <laughs> straw, okay, all right, <laughs> strawberry, way, way too much. <laughs> all right, anything you want to add to, to the people, Samson? Um, no. 
No? I don't think so. All right. Well, you thank you guys. Put me on the spot. I know. Well, you should kind of figure it out by now. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do that. But that's okay. That's all right. All right. Well, as always, thank you, beautiful. You're welcome. Feel in beard. How do the ingredients look on paper? How do they make my beard actually feel health-wise? How does my beard style? All extremely important things. So we're going to take a look at the two different blends here. First off, I've said it many times on this channel because it's true, for me at least, is when there is an ostrich or emu oil blend, I love them but I cannot wear it more than two, maybe three days in a row because it makes my beard feel ridiculously soft, like cotton candy soft. So I have to switch it up with other things. So with that said, I love that a company, this company has an ostrich oil blend and has another blend to kind of balance it out. There are a few companies out there that do that. It's not the only one, but for me, that's a big plus if you offer an emu or an ostrich oil. So with their ostrich oil, let me read you the ingredients. It's just 50% ostrich oil, 50% their premium blend, which we'll get to in a second. I love this. It does exactly what I said. In hand, it feels a little bit medium, a little bit medium thick. Once you get it in beard though, it is so light. It is so refreshingly soft. I would be the best way that I could put this. And soft is not always an indicator of health, but it can be. When I wear this, my beard is just getting like a rehab. It's like, all right, it was feeling a little bit like straw, a little bit like hay, maybe just down a little bit. I get this in there and boom, it's a refresher. Again, I would not likely wear this more than two days a row in a row. I like to switch it up, throw it in when my beard's feeling off. Fantastic ostrich oil, oil, ostrich oil blend. Now, the premium blend, let me read you the ingredients here, which is half of that other bottle as well. Hemp seed, sweet almond, uh, kukui nut, avocado, and rosehip oil, plus some aloe extract, vin, uh, vitamin E, and the fractionated, or the fractionated, the, uh, the fragrance oils and essential oils. Sorry, my kids are running around upstairs. So if you hear them kind of, that's just happy kids at play. Happy life, happy wife, we're doing okay, all right? I mean, it just kind of threw them off my thinking. Some exotic, really awesome oils in there. This is fantastic. If I could only keep one, if I could only recommend one for you to try this company, it would be the premium blend. I love this. It is a straight up medium viscosity. It's not thick. It's not thin. It's really going to do well in almost all beards. We see that color there. You got that beautiful color. My beard styles so well. The benefits of it last all day. And I would have no problem telling you guys if this was not the case. But my beard loves this oil. It does a great job. My skin feels nourished. It just is good. It really, really is good. It's one of the best ones that I've tried in quite a while when I'm doing these new reviews out there. Love it. And even better to mix up the combo. Now to the not so uh, super hyped mood, I guess you could say. Their beard butter. I have found to be enjoyable, but I do think it can have some improvements. Uh, the main thing that really gets me is there's a lot of grit to it. Now, grit is not the end of the world, doesn't change the properties, but when I'm tired, man, I've been teaching, coaching, wrangling my kids, cooking, cleaning, editing, and I'm getting ready for bed, I hate chasing grit around my hand. If you don't know what I mean, you get that butter in your hand. I want it to just melt down so smoothly. And this could be a personal preference thing. Maybe I'm alone out there. But once there's grit in it and it starts getting in between the cracks of my fingers, man, I, I don't even want to do I just want to go to bed, man. I just want to go to bed. So there is some grit in here. It makes my beard feel pretty good. It's not the best butter I've ever used. It's not the worst butter I've ever used. I do see some areas improvement with this. I think the ingredients are fantastic. I'll read these to you. We have shea, kupaku butter, babasu, hemp seed, sweet almond, uh, kukui nut, avocado, and rosehip. Those are all oils. And then we have in there the aloe and then the blend of, uh, of the, fra I want to keep saying, it says F-O, fragrance oil and essential oils. And there is a little touch of beeswax. That's the very last ingredient that they have on the list. Smells fantastic. You don't get much of those carriers. You get uh, really the scent that comes through. Uh, but I do think with a little improvement on maybe the cooling process, maybe on different uh, ratios within those ingredients, because I don't see anything that's bad. There's nothing where I'm like, oh yeah, it's that. He's got to take that out. The ingredients are good. I would just love to see him play around with a little bit for my personal preference. Oils, knocked out of the park. Butter, I think a work in progress.
To wrap this up, I'd like to let you guys know if I recommend this company for you or not. Do I think that this is something that is worth looking into? Something that you should consider spending your hard-earned money on? Heck yes, I do. This company is awesome. They have that cool factor and they have great products. I am loving their blends of their oils. I'm loving their scents. I love the look of the company, the owner, the customer service, the story behind it. I thoroughly recommend this company to you guys. And I've heard nothing but great feedback from customers and their interactions with them, which is super important to me. They can have great stuff, but if people aren't happy with the customer service, man, that, that hurts. I don't want to be recommending and having a bad experience for you guys. Nothing but raving great things about this company. So as always, if you guys have had an experience with them, please leave a comment down below. Uh, what was the service like? Do you like certain scent profiles? Is there certain products that you like that didn't work for you? It is an open forum. Just do it with respect, please. I'm excited to hear your guys' thoughts on this one. We've never covered this company before, so a lot of these comments are going to be brand new information for me, and hopefully we'll see a little bit more from them in the future. Thank you guys for watching all the way through. You are the real ones. Those are the tippity top of the viewers that I really appreciate. I appreciate all viewers, but those of you that watch to the end, man, you have no idea how much that helps a channel and how much that means to me. So thank you guys. Dan, stay bearded, stay bearded, and stay positive.